Hi everyone, and um, this is Sandra here, and this is Cinderella. I've been up and down with Cinderella, giving her a bit of a roller coaster, and I'm hoping the worms are responding. If you watched the last video, I kind of felt sorry for the fast food container material I gave them. Uh, they don't seem to be taking it out on me because I see a beautiful cocoon there right on the surface. Uh, so I felt sorry for the fast food container I'd given them. So I gave them some of my um, leaf mold, which actually is pretty dry considering leaf mold holds its moisture so well. That's interesting. It, uh, it didn't seem to hold it as well in Cinderella. Uh, she, do she doesn't have tight bubble wrap on top of her. She just has a very loose piece of, piece of bubble wrap. But anyway, uh, some of this material is moisture and and I'm seeing worms where it is moist. So so that is good. So I've given Cinderella an, an entire dead bouquet of flowers and that fast food container. So um, this is going to be a little bit of an, in, just an exploration today. I have food here. If I feel she needs it, I have worms if I feel th this environment is good to put some extra worms in here but I really just want to turn the material over and see how she's doing you just kind of you know when you put your kids to bed at night you go in you just want to check on make sure they're okay so that's how I'm feeling with Cinderella I feel kind of sorry for what I gave her I just want to make sure the worms are okay yep oh, there they are there's a worm crawling around looks healthy and happy that one looks good. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not expecting smells from, from flowers, not at all. But on the other hand, I want to make sure that there is food in here for the worms. I had given them on the fast food container. I would given them some of my regular food scraps. And uh, so I'm hoping to see some worms there. There's an avocado that all curled up, kind of funny avocado shell. Of course, it's full of worm castings. If you've ever want pure worm castings, look in an avocado shell. Look at that. Of course, and then I just empty it and put it back in the bin. And the next time I come in here, the shell will be full of worm castings again. That's just the way it works. So let's just take a look. I, As you know from the harvest, I left a lot of the castings intact. And I think that's the saving grace for Cinderella right now is there's still a lot of castings here. So even though I've given her challenges of atypical fast food bedding, all these avocado pits, all these flower stems, there are enough castings for the worms to keep going around and start eating away at the edges on these other food sources. Obviously the avocado pits, they can't now that they've cleaned off all the avocado, licked them clean, there's no way they're going to be able to get into those shells until the shells open up. Okay, here's our fast food container. So just trying to uh, lift that up. It doesn't want to come up in one go. So let me just relieve some of the weight. There's a heavy Starbucks cup. Uh, yeah, I see castings are so heavy. That's why I was struggling. So that's nice and moist, that Starbucks cup. See if that's taken some of the weight off this fast food. Oh, and there we do find worms. Not really the type of fast food that you wanna eat, but there are worms in the fast food container. Yay. Because I did put regular food scraps in here. But this cardboard, uh, they are paper. Gilligan ate quite a few of them last winter. But uh, they dry out is what I'm finding. So I am going to try to keep them all centralized so that I continue to feed. Uh, and the food will have moisture, which will help this paper product break down. So seeing little bits of clusters of worms that were around this feeding area. And obviously the, the leaf mold 
that I added in here is an excellent uh, boost uh, to the bin as well. All right, well, now that I look at that and I see that the worms have pretty much eaten all that food, I am going to feed them. But let's hold off doing that just for a split second while I check the flower zone. So I'll move that over there. Let's see if worms are in at all into this stems and whatnot that I gave Cinderella. Yes, they are. There's a good one there. And I don't know if you're seeing it, but I'm seeing little glistening backs through this area. I'm tossing the avocado pits to one end. Cinderella doesn't have the depth of bedding anymore since the harvest. Oh yes, lots of worms in here. Lots of worms through the flower stem material. So what I've got now then is I've got some feeding um, food that I will put on this fast food container again. And it's going to be rather um, lather, rinse, repeat until I see these food containers disappearing. So I've just emptied the container off to one side, uh, mostly emptied. There's an avocado stone in it, so off it goes. And so what I've got for food is uh, watermelon. And I have a, a cloth that actually I spilled the watermelon, so this soaked up the watermelon juice, so I'll put that on top. But I've got lots of watermelon with watermelon juice here. So in it goes, a big sloppy feeding. Because I assumed that if I was gonna feed Cinderella, she would be um, uh, having moisture issues with this fast food container as well. So uh, I was prepared to give her either water or feeding or both. But I think the feeding will be enough. And I'll just use this brown paper to cover up the watermelon. The other thing I thought I could give Cinderella is the inside of um, a roll of packing tape. You know, the packing tape that you get like this in these things. Well, this is the inside. This is the inside of it. This is the inside roll. Uh, it certainly appears to be paper. Cinderella will tell us whether it is or not. So I will just tuck this in the bin and allow it to start to get inoculated by the um, surrounding material. All right, so the last thing I have to do for Cinderella today, just spread those stems, a little bit of a mess there, a little bit of a messy bin. These are the worms that I pulled out of the garden tower uh, contents just before we gave them to um, my asparagus bed. So uh, these are the extra worms that I pulled out of that container. Obviously I'll go through there and get the worms out of there, but you can see that I had baited them out with some watermelon. And so there were quite a few worms. These, a lot of them wisps because I'd let the cocoons hatch for about six weeks in the garden tower um, tote after I'd harvested it. Oh, there's a wisp on my finger. So he'll go down into the bin. And so all of this, all of these worms will go in. Now this is not my usual type of container that I use. And so unfortunately the material's much higher up in here and there could be wisps in here. So just, and there's one trying to crawl out. There's a, a full-size worm trying to crawl out. So I'm not gonna let him wait. I will toss him into Cinderella. But for these other worms that are in here, and I know that there will be wisps in here, just a moment and I'll be right back with um, some water in this tub to rinse it out. Okay, so I'm back. So I've got the first load of water to go in here. So I'm gonna pour that in this fast food area, fast food container. There's just a tiny bit of castings left in this tub. 
I don't see any wisps in the tub though. So, so that's, that's a good way if you have a, a dry bin, uh, just rinse out your containers right into the bin. No worries at all. Kind of, uh, you get two for the price of one. Uh, I'm also going to do this container, which I was using to transport worms. And so, you know, who knows? Cinderella might get another wisp or so off of this container. And if this seems like a lot of water to put into Cinderella, so I'm not going to be able to get all of this container clean. It would take far too much water, I think, even for her needs right now. But what is important is I've misted this container. So if there are wisps in here, uh, they're not drying out. And then the other thing is, is I'm going to go straight outside and um, I'm going to rinse this into a garden bed. Uh, soon I'll be able to rinse it into Gilligan. We're getting him up and running. So there you go. So that's just a way not to, to savor every last drop, get every last wisp out of these containers, as well as make use of the castings that are left behind. All right, that's Cinderella for today. Take care, everyone.